Okay, good morning. Uh, some guys on X Plane 11, they were uh, having issues with uh, uh, the any file, what it is, how to use it, whatever it is. So I'm going to explain it real quick. Um, the any file is in your custom scenery, and I'll just show you here where mine is. So I'm going to uh, my computer. Most of you probably have it in your C drive. I put mine into my D drive because it's a bigger drive. But it'd probably be the same thing if you got. If you got uh, disk, like a regular box set of X-Plane 11, it'll be in your C drive under programs times 86. And uh, if you got a Steam version like me, it'll probably be in C drive t programs times 86. Steam. Well, I got a Steam version too, but mine's in my D, so you probably do the same as me. You open up your D drive. Click on Steam. Click on Steam Apps. Click on Common. Click on next plane 11. Click on custom scenery. There's my custom scenery right there. Make this big for you. Now in your custom scenery, these are all the airports that I've added to my X plane 11. And when you put them in your custom scenery, if you notice, they put them all in the alphabetical order. That's done automatically. It makes it nice and easy to find. Um, so when you put it in, you put an airport in your custom scenery. Then what you got to do is you got to start your game. So you start up your game, and after your game is started, shut it down. And all that does is it loads the scenery that you've just put in this custom scenery into your any file. And what's your any file? If you go in your custom scenery, you go right to the end. See down here at the bottom, it says scenery packs. That's your any file. Some of you will actually, I don't know why mine doesn't have it now, but... Some of them will actually say scenery packs dot any. That's the same thing. That's this thing here. Some of, some of my custom sceneries, the special ones like here, orbs, they'll make a backup. But I don't worry. You don't have to worry about any of those. Just this one here. Scenery packs or scenery packs dot any. And what happens when you put a new scenery into your X-Plane 11, fire up your X-Plane 11, shut it down. It will put it into the any file, which it has to, to make it work right at the top so let's open that up and I'll make this big here for you that's my any file and when you load a scenery it'll be right up here at the top so you won't have to go looking for it it'll be here but you, what you've got to do is you've got to put it in a certain order in here and let's go through my orders I have my SAM library goes to the top automatically I don't know why it does that you can't move that if you move it then start your X plane it'll put it back at the top so it's at the top but other than that I got all my exclusions right at the top which are done with an overlay program that's no longer available so I can no longer get these so the ones I have I I just keep them at the top but normally you wouldn't have those what you will have though is your libraries and I put all my libraries, see, Fruit Stand, Fabe, R2, RD, RA, RE. I put all my libraries right at the top. Some people say you can put them anywhere. That's nonsense. I've done a lot of testing. I've been on X-Plane 11 for several years now. And people that have followed my instructions have told me that it does make a difference. If you put them below your airports, what happened, half the stuff is... Half the stuff in your airports will be missing. For instance, this one of this library, let's just say R2. What it would be, it'd be like people, trucks, cars, parked airplanes, stuff like that. And if you got it below that airport, the only thing that shows up in your airport is what's at the top. So if you got that below the airport, you won't see it. You'll be missing all those people, all those cars. So keep your libraries above your airport. And in mine, I have... We'll go down below my library. See more libraries. I call an item a library, too. If you see something here, somebody made a bridge called Jamestown Bridge. That's part of a library, so I put it at the top, too. And and then uh, what I've done, you don't... I don't know if you have to do this, but... This stuff, Scenery Atlanta... Those are all cities. So I treat cities like airports. So I just put them at the top for ease of access. Cities. 
and then we hit into your airports. Here's all my airports. Aerosoft airports, Canadian airports. I like to keep things together. Moscow, Helsinki. So you put in all your airports next, keep them near the top. And uh, you go down to the airports and the last airport thing you'll see when you get down here to the bottom is uh, here's my orbs air force now see my orbs libraries I keep them right at the top of the orbs air force because right here because they only affect they only affect the orbs airports or the other libraries affect all the airports so in this situation you can put the orbs libraries just above your orbs air force and then I put my uh, global airports when you get to the end of your airports then that's where your global airports goes right below the airports and what is the global airports that's your default airports and you've got to have that below your custom airports because what happens is if you got it up here somewhere up above some of your airports the airports that are below it won't show up it'll show you the default airport instead of the custom airport so make sure your global airports is below your custom airports and then the next thing is your scenery your general scenery which is your fields and all that stuff and that's true earth w2xp which is like an ortho and then i've got all my ortho which is just scenery that goes all below your airports and when you get down to the bottom the very last thing you put at the very bottom is anything that says terrain or mesh and what that is is that's the hills and the valleys so that pushes up from below and pushes up onto your scenery and makes your hills and valleys so that's got to be at the bottom that's how you do that so that's how everything goes in that order so now you got to remember you've loaded a an airport into your custom scenery and um, then uh, we'll go in here these Canadian airports again and then it's at the top and you got to move it down below your libraries and everybody might be wondering well how do you how do I move stuff it's pretty simple actually I'll give show you another example here uh, we we'll take this airport I can put these in any order because they're all together but see this little Canadian airport CEQ3 right there if I want to move that somewhere else all you do is you left click behind it hold down your mouse button don't let go and drag it across and highlight it then right click on the blue and click cut that's like a quick copy and paste so you click cut makes makes a space and I can left click behind the, in front of the scenery the next scenery and I hit the back button and close up that space so let's say I want to move it down here so I left click behind this one I hit the enter key makes a space right click on the space and click paste and there it is right there CEQ3 that's how you move stuff around let's do another one here's CYZP left click behind it drag across holding down the left mouse button you get it all right click on the blue click cut left click behind in front of the scenery here hit the backspace close it up move it down here somewhere left click behind this hit the enter key make a space right click on the space click paste and there it is right there see I've moved the stuff around that's how you move stuff around simple as pie so there is somebody some people buy this program called X organizer now you want to use it go ahead I'm I'm just saying I uh, I've looked at it and I've tried it and it doesn't automatically do things a lot of things are done manually like this anyway so I find it be a waste of time and most times it doesn't recognize whether something's an airport or a scenery so personally I think it's crap but if you want to use it go ahead and use it and then once you move the stuff around, when you close your any file, you get this message. You want to save it. Of course you want to save it, because when you click save, what it does is it saves everything in the new order that you put it in. So 
That's all you have to do with your file. Clear as mud. So I hope this helps some of you guys. Have a nice day.